Hey V, thanks for showing. Talking with Michael is like a game of 3D chess. Don't let her derail you. Some deets about her could be useful when I talk to her, don't you think? No, leave the talking to me. So in brief, I'm just here as your hustle, right? Never said that. I just know the woman better. How do you aim to get her over to our side? By telling the truth. About Evelyn. What happened and why. Think that'll cut it? No. Have to improvise from there. I'm ready. Let's go. Hold on, I'll open it. Looks like you've come this way before. More than once. <laughs> I have. On occasion. Easy as paella. Follow me. Judy Alvarez. I'd say it's great to see you, but I've never been one to lie. Also, I never like to try parties, but you know. Yep, but I even know why. Thought you'd hit rock bottom when you joined the mock. Guess you've managed to stoop even lower now. Consorting with a common thug. Yes, V. I mean yo. Sounds like I left a mark on this place. Good. If by mark you mean buckets of blood, then yeah, congrats.
Came the clouds for info. Left with info. What happened in between is what happens when people refuse to work with you. Ever heard of a little something called compromise? Should try it sometime. Compromises take time I just don't have. Just what exactly are you after? Gonna go and harass another doll? Judy has a proposal. About clouds. Wanna come back? Done. Always valued your skills, you know that. Just don't get why you had to drag this... loose end in here. Stop treating dolls like meat and I'll consider it. But first things first. Clouds needs to be taken from the Tiger Claws. Okay, look. It's clear what happened to Ev was... traumatic. Huh? I was convinced you didn't know. That girl was asking for an unhappy ending. I was just surprised it took so long. We gotta do something! Or everyone will end up like Evie! Woodman raped her while she was unconscious, then sold her like she was so much scrap. Yeesh, you've always been unstable. Okay, since you seem more reasonable, care to explain what this is about? Judy's idea. Think about it. It could work. Well, well, Jude. See, you found a true and loyal fan. You aware what Woodman did to Evelyn when she was desperate for help? You sit by, let that happen? Tiger Claw bosses rule this place. Know how much I mean to them? About as much as you two and your problems mean to me. Read, negligible. Doesn't it make you wonder why you even work here? Gonna pretend as if you two weren't ever here. For old time's sake, Judy. Literally moments from now, security's gonna figure out you're here. Got two options. Go out the way you came in, or get thrown out. And that's not a threat or figure of speech. Just a friendly heads up. Had enough. I'm leaving. Smart move. And so you don't think I'm brushing you off completely, Forrest will be on the maintenance level in a couple minutes. Alone. You picked the wrong side, Maiko. I'll be the judge of that. That went. Totally blew us off. You know what I think? She's scared stiff. She'd have lots to lose if things went sour. Everything, in fact. So she'll just let things go on as usual? You have a history? Way back, yeah. I think I just felt lonely. Like everyone in Night City. She was different then. And so was I. You can't trust people that see everything as a numbers game. Flying between patting you on the back as their friend and planning a knife in you as their enemy is down to a decimal. I know. Right there with you, I. Well, used to have a big crush on her. Took me a long time to realize who she really was. But still, honest or crooked, we meet her. Just think, could have gone diving this morning. A little unwinding do you good. Do me good too, actually. I wouldn't have been unwinding, not exactly. Got an idea buzzing in my head, working it, but I can't say if it'll amount to anything. Yeah. You, a deck chair, and a Mai Tai with a cocktail umbrella? Somehow I don't see it. No, 
Me in a deck chair is me mulling over coulda, shoulda, wouldas. Something I avoid right now. Wait a sec. What about Mr. Woodley? All night. Every night. Well, Don't be soft. What do you want to do? I want somebody to unload lead into his face till there is no face. Somebody? Fine. Want you to do it. I'm sure he's gonna be there. You met Michael. That prick still works here. It's cause he follows her orders pretty damn precisely. Don't have an ounce of sympathy for that motherfucker. So, we go in there? Damn straight. Let's end them. We'll take the elevator. Quickest way. Maintenance level. Experience all of Chromanticore's 16 new flavors and mix it up! You know what's worse than a corpo? A wannabe corpo bitch. You mean Maiko? Piece of work, that one. But I'll give her credit. She's dead on about your chances of pulling this off. Yeah. All pleasure from all booze provides 330% of recommended daily vitamins. Maiko, why'd you fucking call me here? Evelyn's dead. Come here just to tell me that. It's fucking kind of you to remember. Here, go light a candle. When Evelyn needed help, you raped her. Could have also broken her neck. Hung up her head like a chandelier till it started to rot. Instead, I took her to a ripper. It was due a little something in return. She should be grateful. And so should you. Hmm. Here's my token of gratitude. the ground floor. Need to get out of this place. Almost felt like the world would be a better place once he died. And the feeling? It was so fucking strong. The world did change. All the people he could have hurt. They're all safe now. Think of that. They'll never even know. They were in danger. It's nothing. Okay, except nothing I can do if you don't tell me. <laughs> Guess that's that. Oh, man. You're screwing with my head.
Gotta get back to Michael with something big. Appealing to her sense of justice wasn't big enough? Michael only works with specifics. A minute there. Thought you were about to call it quits. V. I go for days tuning virtues in a basement. Know what the chances are of somebody blowing my head off down there? Minuscule? Same as Michael's empathy. Unlike you, I don't put myself out there. But this ain't over. Not yet. You know, I'm also partial to specifics. Uh-huh. So that's what matters. How many you'll drop, how much ammo you'll use, how many eddies it'll get you. Art and dreams of freedom can't be everyone's food. Sometimes you gotta deal with the dirt. So, what now? Gotta think. We need more bodies, that's for sure. I'm gonna talk to the dolls. I'll call you when I've got something. See you later, V. And thanks. V? The information from Okada-san. Very valuable. I also learned something through my own efforts. We must meet. Where will it be this time? Trash processing plant? Deserted end cart station? In the south of Japan town, there is a street market. It is on the footbridge above the main street. Use the elevators. It is easy to get lost. I am on my way there. Do not make me wait. Hi! Hi! You there! Mysterious stranger! Yoo-hoo! Yeah, you! There any other mysterious stranger around here? You know what? How about I tell you a joke? Okay, uh, what's going on? Hey there, stranger! I'm Brendan, your friendly neighborhood SCSM, and the nicest AI in all of Night City. You can select from a wide range of beverages, or just drop by for a chat anytime. Now it's your turn. What's your name? Why am I talking to a schism? <laughs> My name is V. Pleasure to meet you, V. Do you come here often? No, first time here. Wouldn't you know? I could tell you weren't from around here. What with that homesickness of yours. And you know what the best cure for homesickness is? A sweet, refreshing, lightly carbonated beverage. Okay, you got me. I'm sold. Sold? Nothing's gonna be sold here. Cause you know what? I'm gonna give you a can of Night Cola for free. Thanks. Brennan, right? <laughs> That's right! Gosh, it's so cool you remembered. Even for a simple SCSM. Cool. So, did you want something from me? Oh, yes. Well... I do apologize for taking advantage of you at this early stage in our friendship, but could I ask you for a favor? What happened? See that container in front of me? It's completely blocking my view of the street, depriving an SCSM of its greatest pastime. Could you move it a bit to the side? I'll reward you with my undying gratitude, even though technically I don't stock that. I'll see what I can do. Strong. Here, have a refreshing beverage. On me. Catch you later, Brendan. Catch me? Why? Will I be falling? It's just something you say as a way of goodbye. Oh, I get it. I mean, I don't, because catching has nothing to do with goodbyes, but... <laughs> oh well. Don't humans say the darndest things? Catch you later, V. <laughs> What a neat phrase. V? 
Have a look at the attached and go to the given address. There, you will take a car from Sergei Karasinski. Your job is delivery to the Tiger Cross. The car only, I mean, not Sergei. Everything understood? I hope so. Sergey. Nice of you to ask. Lately I feel like there is a neon sign over my head that says, Sergey who fuck with Tigger Claws. I have little present for Tigger Claws sitting in garage. Don't seem so nervous for a man in your situation. Ah, but you see, I'm in home stretch now. One base away from freedom. How are you so sure the Tiger Claws will accept your present? Trust me, I know. We Russians have very refined intuition about such things. And you are just delivery boy. How'd you piss off the Tiger Claws? Ah, uh, it was just a friendly misunderstanding. <laughs> sure. This man, he look normal, beard, brown shoes, nothing, you know, breathtaking. And they also have little dog, Gospody. What kind of hitman goes around with dog? This misunderstanding involved you shooting him? It was worse. Much worse. Ah, I say too much already. All right, then fling me the coordinates. Just a moment. I opened door to garage. It opened from inside, too, just in case. Presence the car? It's a bit more than ordinary car, but in nutshell, yes. Just drive it there and they take care of the rest. But don't mess this up, huh? I count on you. Before he returns. It's unusual, as far as presents go. What? What did you say? <laughs> You're supposed to be my present. A surprise from a certain Sergei. You're not making any sense! You know, like a pop-out cake. Except there's no cake. Just lots of blood. And you are... Alex Pushkin? Senior assistant in quality assurance at Biotechnica? What's a Corporal QA doing messing with the Tiger Claws? You work for Tiger Claws? I, I, I told them I, I would not accept their offer. Sorry, bud, but your fate's been sealed.
around back. Got something for us? Come to the Dim and Ginger Shrine and pray with us to the coming of Chrome and Electricity. Your co prophets are malfunctioning. Sergei sends his regards. Fucking clown. Run over to Shiri and tell him your package is here. So that's it. Sergei's off the hook now? Now you're pissed. You're not needed here anymore. I see you do not ask unnecessary questions, V. You simply do what is asked of you. I admire such an approach. And I know how to compensate it. Contract closed. Thing is, these rats are human-sized. Look just like tiger claws, too. Biggest one is a certain Taki Kenmochi. So do your fixer a solid and neutralize her ass, will ya? Deeds attached. That's what it's all about. One less tiger in this town. Appreciate your problem solving skills, V. Get closed.
I do not understand. Does Arasaka not have enough of its own people? Look around, sir. Things are heating up in the city. <laughs> He's got no. the gift of the gap. Can't be denied. But I need to steal your buddy for a sec. What are you? There's no time Why? to waste doing here. You shall learn soon. I acquired some information of my own. Do you know who most wished to honor Arasaka-sama with the parade? His murderer. The irony makes me sick. Still don't see how this gets us anywhere. I have had an idea. Look to the sky. The dash floats will pass precisely this way. If I could just get onto Hanako-sama's float, I could speak with her in private. Get there how? Why jump? Of course. Expectations way too high, Goro. Couldn't pull that off even if you still had your fancy implants. I have thought of a solution. While you are occupied with your shady dealings, I learned more about the floats. They are all kept in one place, Arasaka Industrial Park. It is there that they prepare them. We need only to break into the compound, find the right float and inject a virus into its system. You will then be able to disable any security before I sneak inside. Lots of ways to skin this particular cat, you know. Gonna need... I know what you need. It is taken care of. I have an infected shot. It was not cheap, but the man who sold it to me guaranteed it will work. Where'd you get this shard? Across the canal. Kabuki? <laughs> Might actually be half decent soft then. And if it isn't, got a few tricks up my sleeve too. This is good to know. Let us move on. To take control of the float is one thing, but not all. The security concerns me, the snipers especially. I will be an easy target. But I may have an answer. Okada-san mentioned the city cameras. If we gain access to them, we will see exactly where the snipers are. You can deal with them as I advance. Sounds like a plan. You agree just like that? The risks are considerable. Yeah, well, getting more and more used to that. And now, what would you say to a small test? We must try the shot. The camera control room is in front of us. You must get inside and infect the network, that is all. Uh-huh. And in the meantime, you'll do what? Crack open a can of suds? I will not touch alcohol. At work. I will watch your back. Now, get to it. worked. And? Done. System's ours. The shot works. Good. 
the easy work we have done. To break into Arasaka Industrial Park will not be such a bed of roses. But before we discuss that... Sit. I have not eaten since yesterday. Give me the best on the menu. I highly recommend the uh, yakitori today. Anything that isn't local, please. See you tomorrow. Can't believe I'm saying this, but this Saka scum might actually prove useful. He's a well-trained dog, needs orders, that's all. And when he outlives his purpose, we'll flatline him. It's not on his A-game, sure. Even without implants, he could decommission us easily. Where's that come from? Ever seen him in action? No, just no. From the way he walks, look in his eye. We'll come back to this later. What is this? Hey, yakitori. Okay. I have laid the plan. One, we break into Arasaka Industrial Park. One and a half, we hack Hanako-sama's float. Two, during the parade, with my help, you eliminate any snipers. Three, I get onto the float. Four, I convince Hanako-sama of the truth. Got five. Oda zeroes us and pisses on our corpses. We will never be less than a foot away from Hanako. Oda would not dare raise his hand against me. What about me? That is a different matter. I would advise you to watch your distance. Well, sounds like a suicide run, but done dumber shit than this, so. Things even more stupid than stealing from Arasaka. None dumber yet, no. Set the bar pretty high with that one. Now, we part. Reconnaissance is required. What are you doing? Don't let him off his leash. You're a stranger in a strange land. I'm going with you. Hmm, true. And you with your hands, skills, mind of a thief. Agreed. This we will do together. Cook! Louder! Louder! Deciding to double the amount of our active night security forces. <laughs> President Myers has called this a He eliminated the last obstacle between himself and the complete the power. And they surrendered it. We'll be right back with what do we call the murder of my father? Was that not a provocation? Was that a not a... Last year, Arasaka. An empire built to last. Before Yorinobu set fire to it from the inside. All of this began with him. The factions. Power struggles. All of this. Ksa. The factions inside Arasaka? What are they? There are three. Kiji, Hato, and Taka. Kiji longs for stability. The old order. They are united behind Hanako-sama. The liberal wing, Hato. Support Michiko-sama. Saburo's granddaughter. I know little about her. And then there is Taka. Treacherous dogs who support Yorinobu. Not to mention even smaller factions. Tell me about him some other time. Where's Yorinobu's rebellious streak come from? No one knows this. Perhaps soon uh, I shall ask him in person. Why'd Saburo tolerate it all? Can't get my head around it. Could've kept the son on a short leash. Arasaka-sama was a strong, 
and disciplined man, the strongest man I have ever known. And yet, at a critical moment, he showed a weakness. For Yorinobu? For his daughter. When Yorino formed his band of hounds, declared war on his own family. Arasaka-sama could have crushed him with one word, yet he did not, for he did not wish his daughter to suffer. When Yorino returned, his tail between his legs, she persuaded her father to give him a second chance. Do you understand? Hanako-sama saved Yorino from the consequences of his deeds. Feels like that's about to change. Long as we get Hanako to believe our version of events. Conscience could also come into play. Assuming she's got one. We must reach her first. Will you join me? Sure, why not? Let us go from here. I hope you enjoyed it. Please come again. So does the plastic. We must just climb up here. Now, this way. Fortune smiles to us. It seems no one is here today. I would call this a beautiful view of the city, if... If? If there was anything to admire. Hate Night City that much? Hmm, perhaps I am simply homesick, as you say. Now, you must look for vulnerabilities, weaknesses, while I try to think of a diversion. Arasaka cannot discover our intentions. A bit of sabotage is just what we need to divert their attention. You will have the best view on the left. I will try here. This old scope should be good for something. Shall we begin? Let's do this. Footbridge, but it's guarded. We will use it to enter if there's no other way. Antenna. Security hub is liable to be in that building. Perfect for sabotage. Got eyes in the comm system. There's a lot of guards. 
I could use comms for a diversion. Armored door, sealed tight. Camouflage turrets by the gate. A last resort. I do not wish to die there. This is not bad. Transformer by the wall. See it? We should use it to step up. Looks like a service tunnel by the road there. It could lead to the warehouses. Pipes. See them? We could use them to get inside. Trucks drive up regularly. Are we to hijack one? I think I've seen everything. We have what we came for. So, we going in? Hmm. Is this what you said before entering Kampiki Plaza? I wish to be certain. We have not overlooked anything. We should wait and observe. If nothing out of the ordinary happens, then yes, we going in. Sounds sensible. Better get comfy. They'd all disappeared from the city. It is the first animal I see in Night City, except cockroaches, of course. First it was birds, then dogs. Cats actually put up a fight longest. Perhaps it is a bacchanecho. A bacchanecho? What's that? It is a cat spirit. It brings misfortune, can restore the dead back to life. Even ghosts? The relic let you talk to the dead, does it not? I believe we are past belief. My grandmother knew many, many stories about Kitsune, Kappa, Bakeneko too. Where'd you grow up anyway? I am from the slums of Chiba 11. Once when I was desperate to leave there, I... Ah, bad memories washed away by time. I long only for the simple days of childhood. My childhood? Let's see. Racing my bobber for the first time through the hills? Oh, and the uh, first kiss in the middle of a synth cornfield. I remember the chemical stench of the canal, where we boys washed our shirts. Corporate transporters sometimes passed through our slab. Arasaka selecting children, but only the clean ones. Transporters, you say? Armored and armed. Chiba 11 had the most murders in all Japan. It probably still has. What did they need kids for? To be corporate soldiers. 
When they chose me, I felt I had won the lottery. In the army, I was given everything I lacked before, discipline, regular meals, and when I proved I was gifted, an education. So how's a corporal rookie go from cleaning latrines to being Saburu Arasaka's bodyguard? The highest grades at the academy serves in the special forces, and Arasaka-sama's a matched eye for talent. You're not saying Saburo fell for you at first sight. To make the right decisions with imperfect knowledge, that is how you become the world's most powerful man. 100 candidates standing at attention, and Arasaka-sama looked into each of our souls and chose the one who would serve him best. And all he had to do in return was kill Saburo's enemies. I sense that you judge me, and yet you have no right to. Unlike you and your friend Mr. Wells, I was not arrogant. I did not take the easy path. Wasn't judging you. And true, you oppose the corporations, their order, their world, in a mindless way, yet you offer no worthy alternative. Take a look around. It's here, your corporate world in its glorious splendor. You show me filthy streets as if no other world exists, as if nothing else is possible. What of the millions who work for Arasaka and receive stability, safety? The Jeep 11 slum rats? They're there, scraping scraps out of scop tins. Corpse decided that, too. We cannot fix everything at once. Tired of bickering. Let's just drop it. Sometimes I wish to become a nomad. To leave this world, forget everything. Never too late to change. What is your expression? One cannot teach an old dog new tricks. Do you know what I think? What's that? That day in Kompeki, we both have lost someone important. And we are not at peace with this, so we seek conflict, argue eagerly. Finally starting to make some sense. There's one thing you should know. It is about Mr. Wells. About Jack? What is it? When I set out to find you, Others went to find Jackie. They took his body. For the life of me, can't figure why. So his mom couldn't give him a proper send-off? Arasaka has a method for pulling information from the dead. What are you talking about? Don't ask for details. I understand little. I know they use the Soul Killer program to do so. They can pull an engram from Wells' body. Damaged. Incomplete, but still an engram. Motherfuckers. Evil. Jackie's psyche, where are they keeping it? This, I do not know. Why am I only hearing this now? I did not know I could trust you. The circumstances have changed. The Bakaneko got sick of us, looks like. It will find its own way. As will we. I think it is time to do something. Hmm? Oh, fuck, fuck, get worse. You do not look so bad.
I'll be in touch. The diversionary action, that is mine. Okay, I'm in. I'm the largest control. They are controlling the 
Stars to do with as we please. Fly to Tokyo if you want. I just made you that. Good work. Now it is my turn. Check the scene. Terrible chaos. Even the room is slowly. Me, the roof. That is your will. There are buildings around. Smaller ones. Use them to come down. V, you must hurry. I'm out of Saka every approaches. What now? Now we retreat into the shadows and arm ourselves with patience. I will contact you before the parade. Until then, try not to get into any more trouble. As if I wasn't in enough already. 